This is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I want to talk about success. Just how brutally obsessed I am with the success of my customer. It's not a zero-sum game. A lot of people think that success is a zero-sum game, that you've got to take from somebody or steal or somehow hoodwink them. That's not the way it works. If my customer receives a product that he can work with and use and, and achieve his goals uh, and gets value for his money, then everybody who gets paid in the, in the operation of this business is successful in their own right in, with integrity, with honesty, and with dignity. And that's what this is all about. I also encourage you to please watch this video all the way to the end. Uh, I've got a request for help for one of, the, one of my customers that is a Marine, uh, active duty Marine Corps about to be deployed and he needs some help with uh, some stuff on his truck. I'll explain that at the end, but let's, let's talk about success first. Actually, first I'll tell you about the black eye. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about the black eye because I know you're going to want to know. It's like, oh, Bill's got another black eye. What the hell do he do now? Okay. Last Sunday I was in the French Quarter and there was a bit of a heated discussion in the street between this group and that group uh, and for people who don't know that they're in the process of removing all the Civil War uh, Confederate statues, Robert Lee Lee being one of them and the next one being Andrew Jackson and the center point of the city is Andrew Jackson, Jackson Square. Yeah, Jackson Square was an Indian killer and he had slaves and he had all these things and some of these uh, ultra liberal hippie, whatever you want to call them, people will think that it's a good idea to take down statues that somehow it'll make everything right. Now they got Robert E. Lee down. I think that there'll be a legal precedent that will put him back, but that remains to be seen. And But anyway, in the middle of the street in Bourbon Street, uh, you know, there was a heated discussion between the, the group of people who want to keep the statues and the group of people who think that, you know, Robert E. Lee and Andrew Jackson are racist and that all the problems with racism in this country have stems from these statues okay well <laughs> someone kicked my dog some asshole over there on the on the uh, Robert E Lee is, is Robert E Lee's a racist side kicked my dog and I smacked him and then I get one out of the corner and then it turns into a melee uh, managed to get out of there before the police showed up but I did get a black eye in the process and, you know this is America baby if you want to stand up and talk about something let's talk about it you want to talk about it let's talk about it you may not like what I have to say but god damn don't kick my dog don't be an asshole about it. So, that's how I got the black eye. <laughs> My wife's still not speaking to me. <laughs> but she did give me a ride home, okay? She did give me a ride home, but she's still not speaking to me. But I demand extreme competence. Every person in this operation is extremely competent. I'm talking about, if you talk to Scott on the telephone, he will answer your questions. Dana Collins will help you with anything he, you need help with. My, my technicians are the best. I trained them. Most of my technicians I've trained and watched and worked with, we do not have comebacks. Mikey, my head mechanic, is probably one of the top five power stroke diagnostic guys on the planet. He is the best. He will find your shit wrong. Extreme competence, I demand it. It's the way it works. Extreme competence and the, and the demonstration of extreme competence makes extreme confidence. That, People send trucks to us from all over the planet. I've gotten them from England, Australia, you know, many from California lately because they just don't have confidence in the people out on the West Coast because they haven't taken this type of work to the level that I have. And this makes extreme success. What is extreme success for you? You know what, if you buy a truck from me or I do a lifetime dealer proof on your truck, you know what I want for you? I want 250,000 miles. Okay, that's what I want for you. And I'll give you a lifetime head gasket warranty. There's nobody out there that does that. Nobody does that. Ford Co Motor Company doesn't do that. Anybody sells you a truck out there in the world, they just dump it on your ass and <laughs> hope the check clears, you know. Now, I want to know five years from now, I want to see you, I want you to come back and say, hey man, that was the best money I ever spent. That is extreme success. That's what I want for you when you bring your truck to me. I know I get a lot of younger guys out there that watch my videos uh, and you know some of you guys are searching for what you're doing. Let me tell you a quick story. When I was uh, 1996, my daughter was just, just wasn't even a year old, um, I decided you know that I would put a hot water heater in the house that we were living in. It was you know long story but it was an older house and you know um, I put the hot water heater in and two days later the whole place burnt to the ground with everything in it. I did have some little bit of insurance but didn't amount to shit. And what I learned right then is that I'm not a terribly good plumber. One of the things I learned in that particular experience is, is that there's no such thing as a jack of all trades who's good at what they do. 
they're not good at anything. They're okay, they can make a repair and get you by, but they're not gonna actually give you extreme success. They're not gonna be able to do that for you. You've got to narrow it down, you've got to focus it. And my, I, I, I'm a good mechanic, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at selling mechanics, I'm good at explaining what goes on, so my skill set is that. My advice to you young guys is you think about what it is you're good at before you go putting a hot water heater in, because I'm calling a plumber next time. I'm calling a plumber, I shouldn't have put that hot water heater in there, it was too big, it, didn't, it wasn't right, and I paid dearly for it. And you know, it was a mistake. In the end, had I sought the advice of a professional, somebody who was competent, my house wouldn't have burnt down. And I learned a very hard lesson in that, and I'll never, I'll never ever forget. The idea of the remembering of what extreme confidence uh, came into my world as I was watching a special about a man named Roger Stone on Netflix, who's the guy who basically pioneered and engineered and, and packaged and delivered the whole Donald Trump uh, image. And you know, there was, a, there was a spot in there, a younger Donald Trump, uh, saying that he demands extreme confidence. And I said, you know what? I demand extreme confidence. I identify with that concept in my world. Extreme competence is the only way to go. Now he caters to people that, that, that in, in his business, in his empire, the Trump hotels, I've never been in a Trump hotel, I'm a Marriott guy. It's beyond my pay grade. But you know what, and I'm sure that if you're in one of those hotels and you order room service at 2 in the morning, it will come to you and it will be perfect. Because he has very competent people there. And it's expensive. That leads me to the next part of this. It's my hope as an American, especially after the last decade of stupidity that went on in this country, that we all just kind of stood by and watched it somehow or another, and I, you know, only history will judge Trump's presidency, but it's my hope in my heart that he puts extreme confidence in the places that he needs to be in our government so that we can have confidence and success in our country. It's not cheap. I use 99% of the parts I use are Ford parts. They are expensive. The mechanics and technicians that I use in this business are the best and they want to get paid for them to stay here and work on your trucks. So I put together the best people that money can buy, but in the end it's going to cost money. Okay, if you just want your truck jack leg together and put it together and I see them all the time, little patches and little fixes and all the rest of this and the truck get, by the time it gets here and this has been going on for 10 years, the, the thing's a total mess. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, man, we've got to start over from scratch uh, because of all the little, little things that have been, you know, kind of jack-legged together. And, and, and that, that doesn't fit in my world. I'm either going to do it right or I really just don't want you to bring the truck to me. But it, it comes at a price. It's not cheap. Unfortunately, it's not cheap. Ford Motor Company does not give these parts away. These guys do not work for free. The power bill, the, the parts bills, all the rest of these things, they all add up. And as a result, for the business to be successful, I have to charge for it. And if you want to go the cheap route, in the end, you'll end up having a lot less value out of the truck because you're going to shorten the life of it. You might shorten the life of the truck considerably by, by cutting corners and using cheap parts and all this kind of thing. Extreme competence is not cheap. That's the point. And if you're at a Trump hotel at two in the morning and you order eggs Benedict and by God, you want a world-class chef or somebody who's good at what they do at two in the morning to cook you eggs Benedict, it's gonna be on your bill, son. It's gonna cost you. But that's what it costs. But it costs money for extreme competence. That's what it takes. The extreme competence, extreme confidence, and extreme success goes boils over into the my used trucks that I sell. You know, if you'd have told me uh, 10 years ago when I put the, put the first YouTube video up about you know how to change your oil in your 7.3 and, and longevity series that I put together about how to keep your truck up, if you'd have told me then that I was going to have uh, to send a truck, that green truck that I sent out last week to California, the man calls last night and he's giddy like a little girl who just got his first prom dress and he's so excited that, that he got this truck. I mean, it's a grown man, 50-something year old man's just dancing around like it's the greatest thing that ever happened because the truck was that damn good. If you'd have told me that would have happened 10 years ago, I'd have told you you're crazy. If you'd have told me that I would have had the conversation I had yesterday with two men from Seattle who come all this way, 2,600 miles to have Power Stroke Specialty do the work to their truck, that I wouldn't have believed you 10 years ago. I said, no, nah, I don't think so. But that's extreme competence that, that, that we have that no other shop has. No dealership has what we have in regard to these trucks. 
and that inspires the extreme confidence and they're going to be very successful with this truck because we did the work. It's just that simple. The person that's going to get this truck, if you didn't know that that quarter panel from one of my previous videos had a spot in it that needed to be painted, you wouldn't be able to tell if that paintwork had been done. It's that good. Extreme competence. It turns out that good. That truck looks that good. truck like this to go down the road is $28,500, okay? There is $14,000, $14,500 worth of work done on this truck. If you want a copy of this, email me, bill at powerstrokehelp.com, and I'll send you a copy of what we did. But, I mean, there's cab isolators and, and you know, uh, steering shaft bushing and touch-up paint and you know all the little you know o-rings and all the different stuff that we did the motor's been out of the truck it's been took apart and looked at make sure that it's everything's okay inside of it not some previous damage or somebody playing games but that's the way i roll you know it's a fourteen thousand dollar truck with fourteen thousand five hundred dollars worth of repair done to it twenty eight five is what this truck costs but this man five years from now when he's got 150 200 maybe two hundred fifty thousand miles on it and he goes out and turns that key and she lights up and goes, that'll be the, that's my success it's in five years when that man turns the key and that truck goes down the road and he goes, you know what, that was the best money I ever spent. Because he could have took his money somewhere else and bought, you know, a whole bunch of junk and suffered and pain and all the rest of this. As long as he does the service and does the fluids and the filters and changes the coolant and does the thing, all the necessary stuff, uses the arch oil at the oil change time, uses the arch oil in his fuel periodically, this truck, there's no reason why it can't go a quarter million miles or more. It should go more. It's a beautiful truck. Take care of it. But that's extreme success. That's what I'm shooting for. Those are the type of customers that I seek that are seeking that extreme type success. Understand that it doesn't come free and that you got to pay for it. You know, Ford Motor Company's not giving these parts away. Hey, y'all, I need your help with something here. Uh, young man, Staff Sergeant, United States Marine Corps, a uh, young, young guy with uh, a wife and three small children, I mean, all under the age of six. Uh, and, and he bought this excursion out of Virginia, and it had a lot more issues than we expected. Very, very tight budget. We did a bunch of work to this truck beyond the lifetime dealer proof that it desperately needed uh, uh, and, and kept the price down. We didn't, we didn't really make money on the truck. It wasn't a profitable job, but, you know, the man needed the work done, and we got it out for him and, and was, you know, stayed within his budget. Problem is, is that we, you know, we did the work to the truck, and uh, then they started having problems with it. We tried to reuse the injectors on the initial job. Um, and you know use the arch oil because they seemed like they were going to be okay at least until it got cold again and unfortunately it didn't work out that way we got the call it was skipping and smoking like you know and, and we really don't know what's wrong with it until we see it so I you know put $500 down to get it shipped here uh, and it, it just injectors were gone one had just totally gave up and was hung open and if they tried to drive it probably would have burned the piston up uh, and so we you know I paid $500 to tow it up here uh, we got it we got it fixed uh, and you know the man's facing a you know a set of injectors, you know it's a couple thousand dollars because we use Ford injectors are expensive, and that was what was necessary to get it back going. We we just weren't able to stretch, it and he just doesn't have it. So he's right at the moment he's facing 18 month de deployment back in you know five countries over there in the shit at the moment. Uh, gonna go do his duty for the country. Uh, he just doesn't have the money. You know he's just in this kind of situation trying to make it all happen. Of course you know uh, military pay being what it is, you know they we were outside their budget. I would use train vet money, but frankly, train vets it's running on fumes at the moment. Arch oil sales that haven't been what they need to be. It wasn't a very cold winter. Um, Stiction just hitting the problem when it's not cold. Uh, train vet's been funded by us. There's no money there. I've actually had to let some of the staff go on train vet simply because we didn't have the money to keep them going. Frankly, I would kick it out of my pocket, but it's June first, man. I've got Ford bill. I've got bills, right, and payroll. Right? It's gonna just basically clean me out at the moment. So I'm asking if you can donate fifty or hundred dollars or, or whatever you can donate to help the staff sergeant, Marine Corps staff sergeant, be able to leave with confidence, know that his uh, truck is fixed so that his wife and small children can drive around and do what's necessary while he's gone taking care of business over yonder. The you know I would be deeply grateful for it. Uh, it would be a it would be a huge huge help to him. Look, we can do this a couple ways. Just email me, Bill at PowerStrokeHelp.com, email me, and I can send you a PayPal link, you can pay through PayPal, or uh, I can send you a credit card authorization where you, you put your card number on it and sign, or if you just want to mail a check, make it out to train event and send it to 1046 Parkway Court, Buford, Georgia 30518. 
Any small donation to help this Marine fellow patriot, man's out there putting his life on the line for us. For, I know his family be deeply grateful. And you know, frankly, it's just the right thing to do. I'm deeply grateful for your generosity in helping a fellow American, a fellow Marine, fellow serviceman, get done what he needs to get done so he can go serve his country and be confident, have extreme confidence in knowing that his wife and family are taken care of and do what they got to do while he's off doing what he's got to go do for a year and a half. Thank you for all your support on PowerStrokeHelp.com. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a PowerStroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. And remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.